one of the most um, interesting things I've learned today about the future of pharma marketing is this notion of the third place. I think a lot of people are talking about patient-centered healthcare, and that's been a trend for a couple of years now. But putting it in the context of, say, a Starbucks and what they were able to create in terms of a, an experience where everything is right there for you. Some of the biggest healthcare problems we have in the world require more than just a pill to fix. Take a simple thing like diabetes and insulin. We know the world over that insulin is part of the treatment, but it's a piece. There are lifestyle issues, social issues, family issues that make all kinds of an impact on people trying to get healthier and better. And so the biggest innovation that needs to happen within pharma is to realize that they are a simple, singular piece of the puzzle. And if they could extend themselves beyond their, their, their drug, for example, that there's a bigger picture here. And if they can figure out ways to pull together the scientists who are making those incredible drugs with the other folks who understand the social context of how they're being used, and put that group of people together in ways that they've never done before, that's the kind of collaboration across areas within a company or even across companies that will solve some of these deeply difficult healthcare problems that need solutions, but it's bigger than just a simple pharma solution. Ultimately, technology will continue to push changes in behavior of their customers and that pharma will be obligated to succeed and to survive to finally start approaching innovation more actively. But I still believe that there will continue to be a bell curve of some that are willing to experiment and be risky and others that will take a more conservative route. So a company who's really thinking to be innovative, do they buy, build, or buddy to get to where they need to go to to be effective in the future? They do all three. They're going to have to buy the right types of services, the right types of companies to partner with and that goes to budding with the right alliance partners and building it from the inside based on the people that they have. So I say all three. We actually see a lot of this change through the new players that are coming into the pharma industry or the, the, uh, the medical industry where we have Samsung's and uh, uh, Apple and these companies that are developing technologies or strategies to be able to assist and move in that direction. So it's no longer just the pharma companies or the medical devices that are developing. We actually have all these partners, if you want, that are developing technology that they're feeding to the pharma companies and to the medical environment to be able to accelerate that entire process. For patients to be able to proactively manage their care, be their greatest advocate, and get all of the information and services and support they need um, without having to rely on the hospital system or the physician system as the sole um, delivery of that um, it is really an exciting future that I, I, I hadn't thought of. In terms of where we are uh, in this continuum of how healthcare is evolving, I think right now is a huge opportunity because if we don't take this opportunity now, we're not going to be there in the future. Uh, with kiosks and with um, healthcare delivery taking place in so many non-traditional areas in the future, um, we are, we're in middle days, I think, because other industries see this opportunity. And if we don't take control of it, or at least take advantage of it, and what we already know now, we're going to lose our space quickly. Mm -hmm.